The Teaching Fellows Program, I think, is one of the best things we do, quite honestly, because we bring in young people who are highly motivated, who are remarkably talented, and who genuinely want to be teachers. The Teaching Fellows are getting a master's in teaching, along with what I think of as a really intense student teaching. Our Teaching Fellows, they teach their own class, they coach, and they advise. And I like to think of it as it's like jumping in the deep end, but they have a floaty. And the floaty is their mentor and their cohort and the supports that they have when they start. You spend a lot of time together, you do a lot of work together in, and really honest work. I thought this went well, or I thought this didn't go so well. So you are a mirror for them and they for you. They also observe your teaching. We've been part of the program since its founding. St. Paul's was a founding member of the BSTR, the Boarding School Teaching Residency Program, in roughly 2012, 2013. The goal of it is, is to springboard young potential teachers into the teaching world with both two years of immersive experience at a boarding school and a master's in education. I think that the teaching fellows bring their youth and their enthusiasm to the school and our students gravitate to that immediately. And as a teacher, they bring the recent research on teaching and learning, so we can question some of our kind of ingrained ways that we do things and, you know, change those and really try to get the best student experience. Having young faculty on the campus, fellow or not, having people who do have that age proximity, and you know, that, that's a pathway that students can see. They can imagine being 25. Most of our students have a much harder time imagining being 45. Um, but they can imagine being 25, they can imagine this, and they want to know more about it. They want those experiences. Faculty always learn things from students, but it's more direct, it's more obvious, it's more recognized in the fellowship program. When I look at them, I think, oh, I remember how hard this was. Exciting, but also really hard work. Um, and so I think, if I could have had a mentor in that way when I did my student teaching many years ago, um, I think it would have been a great relationship and way to really play out some of those difficult things you have to do before you actually have to do them. In some instances, we've had the opportunity to then keep them on as members of faculty, and it you know you just you see that trajectory continue. I knew that. I wanted to be in this kind of fully encompassing, enveloped environment when I realized that learning happens not just in the classroom. By far the most rewarding aspects of being a teaching fellow here is that you have that time, you're able to access students in a different way than someone who's been teaching over 50 years can access students and that you're closer and experienced to them and you can use that to inspire them, to motivate them, to help them keep going truly believe that the St. Paul's community fully welcomes the teaching fellows and you're fully enveloped in the faculty experience. I felt very supported immediately that my mentor would make sure that I'm set up to succeed and that I have the resources I need to be able to do that too. There's a lot of potential in the work I do here. Beyond math, in, in the affinity group work, in the, in the dorms, um, I felt as if I could figure out how I wanted to be my best version of a teacher. And I believe that St. Paul's had the resources to help me. I was their teacher when I was a second year teaching fellow working to get my degree. Um, and so they would always say, we're helping you graduate because we would do a lot of experiments on them. We'd do sociograms, a lot of analysis of classroom social dynamics. So a lot of experimentation on the students and learning from them and, and working with them outside the classroom. And then, you know, come this year when they're six formers, now I'm helping them graduate. A great teacher to me is someone who shows their enthusiasm in the math, in any classroom really. Um, but for Ms. Dalal, it's in her math classroom. And I feel like students can really tell when a teacher enjoys what they do. She's always come to the classroom excited, prepared, energized to teach her students. And four years later, she's still that same way. When an environment like that happens, the students also get excited and, you know, People my age here, you know, love the fact that we're able to be surrounded by adults and form connection with adults that, you know, aren't just your parents um, and have that guidance like throughout our years here. But in some ways, it's also important for us to be surrounded by people more of our age. And to me, that's the teaching fellows. As a St. Paul student, it's really 
inspirational to be able to see people who are still learning, who are still trying to, you know, get their degree and kind of learning from that. Those times where they would really understand a problem or the experiment would work out successfully and you would just see that kind of joy and the connection uh, on the students really, really kind of brought things together and, and showed me that this is, this is what I love doing, sharing what I know and sharing what I love. I think I grew more in my two years here as a professional than I have in any other time period, um, learning about what it means to be a teacher, an advisor, a coach, uh, and just a community member here. My inspiration comes from two places, primarily from the students still. Uh, they bring joy and inquiry and engagement every day, uh, and they challenge me to be a better uh, faculty member on a daily basis. Um, and then it also comes from my colleagues. Uh, I get to work with some really amazing people who are incredibly intelligent and also care a lot about students and care a lot about the school. Because what I, what I drew from this place was how transformative and how powerful being a member of Millville, being a member of, of St. Paul's can be. And getting to work in the Dean of Students Office means I get to be involved in that on a daily basis. Uh, our students are curious, uh, they're intelligent, and they're just so driven, uh, and they want to learn and they will take up everything that you, that you, uh, you want to give them. And I teach here because of what the students um, give to us as, as a community on a daily basis. Well, this fellowship uh, informed many things for me as a new teacher at St. Paul's. I think it was a good challenge to, to come to campus knowing this place a little bit, but in a different, uh, different shoes. You know, I used to be a student, a prefect, but now as a teaching fellow, I realized that lots of things are different. Right? The moment when students realize that they understand something and they go like, oh, now I get it. I think that's something that brings me joy, seeing that the students are understanding something and I have a role to play in that. That's definitely something that's motivating. As a boarding school teacher, we are interacting with students all day and seeing students in different contexts in the class, on the soccer field, on the ice hockey rink, makes us really see them in different spheres of their lives and that makes it much easier for us to teach them and understand what drives them. All of these facets of their life connected to your practice as a teacher makes it very special and really rewarding because you can see them grow in many spheres of their life. Being with a mentor helps me uh, see how well I'm doing by uh, having my mentor go to my classes and discuss and work on different things. If the class doesn't go too well, how can we fix that and be better for next class? And also that gives me someone I can always go to to ask questions. We are students as well, and we're going through graduate school, but it is cool just like them. We have deadlines, we have assignments, uh, we're cramming sometimes to make sure that we do everything we need to do. These kids are so respectful, so grateful, and, and they're high schoolers, they're teenagers, and teenagers sometimes can be mean, but these kids are, they're just so nice and they're so well educated, so it's really nice to interact with, with lots of very high achieving, but very respectful, and honest and humble kids. And that's, I think that's something that I really appreciate about St. Paul students. My first day as a teaching fellow was of course stressful. I think I've had experience teaching in the past, but it's not the same thing when you're a real teacher. Uh, as a young faculty member, we definitely have a different role for students. I think it's a fun challenge to have to, to know, see ourselves in a leadership role with these students, knowing that they will respect us and look up to us in a different way than they might look up to other faculty members. I think this fellowship has really been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to kind of jump into a boarding school and such an amazing boarding school that's 100% residential. So I never thought I was going to be a teacher ever. I was the student growing up that hated classroom participation. I went to a boarding school and then I went to college and sports have been a big part of my life and I wanted to teach and coach at a boarding school and it changed my life and I wanted to see if this is something I wanted to do and give back to people that really helped shape me. My inspiration and joy comes from the kids that we see every single day and the kids that we coach in the dorm. We are at such an amazing school with very talented kids and very diverse group of kids that I think I get inspiration every single day from being in class. That's the biggest thing that sets us apart is that we have people that want us to succeed and want to help us grow and learn. I'll always remember these two years as being really transformational. So what's next after my fellowship is I'm actually staying at St. Paul's next year. Um, so I'll be in the humanities department and I'll be coaching the same sports again. So I'm super excited. I call her Coach Mackey. She's the assistant girls varsity hockey coach. I started getting to know her last year when she was in her first year on our team. And it just kind of started because I was like, trying to make my way and figure out the hockey team as someone who wasn't part of it the year before. And um, she was a new coach and she 
kind of saw that I needed someone to like guide me a little bit um, and help me find my place on the team and she was someone that could do that as someone who had just come out of four years of college hockey um, and so that's kind of how our relationship began. She, like in the first week our team like already had nicknames for her like she just clicked so quickly into the team culture. She first was a huge part of my college process, reached out to coaches for me. She was on the phone letting them know not only about me as an athlete but also me as a person and she did that because I got to know her outside of just on the ice. That one thing that I've learned from her is resilience. Just keep pushing when things get tough um, and you're gonna see results in the end, but those results might not be immediate. Having those teachers who are more closer to our age than a lot of the actual teachers are, it's just a little bit easier to go to them. This program created a doorway into St. Paul's and a doorway into education that I, I don't think I would have found otherwise. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really grateful for the program um, and, and excited for every year when we get new, new teaching fellows coming through uh, for the opportunities that this is giving them as well.